What's going on guys? I'm here with my usual nonsense. Uh, I got an update for you. This is a smaller one, I'd say. It's only like uh, nine, nine CDs, I think. So uh, I think I'm just gonna cut right into it so I don't have any problems uploading this video. Uh, this first one is non-metal. I'm starting to not show any kind of non-metal things, really, except anything that I would call top shelf, which is literally top shelf, but yeah. It's uh, right above this, I got another, another display, but uh, that's like the best non-metal, and right here is the regular non-metal, but that's the stuff that gets probably the most listens, like to the point where I can almost get rid of this and not even know about it, but I leave it just in case. So, uh, first one is definitely a top shelf one. Ooh, Hivers Lasetar Os by Burzum, if you can even uh, hear it, but it's what's playing right now. Been in an atmospheric black metal kick uh, this week, and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, it's, a, it's fall, it's the time of the season, it's coming up. Uh, so, this first one is Idol One South by the Almond Brothers Band. The Almond Brothers Band are the jam band in my opinion, uh, my favorite jam band, the, obviously the Grateful Dead are in there, you know, Fish, uh, still that kind of stuff, Fish, uh, <laughs> the Strength Cheese Incident, Widespread Panic, uh, stuff like that, if you know, if you know the Almond Brothers, you already know about all of that, at least I hope, most people do, but yeah, it's just that, uh, improv style, this is based in Southern Rock and Blues, unlike those other bands, but this is... You know, it's the Almond Brothers doing what the Almond Brothers always do, which is a great, great thing. Sorry the camera is shaking, I was putting this back in its rightful spot as we speak. Anyway, there's the Almond Brothers. Uh, this next one is uh, Surter Rising by Monomar. Um, this is super cool. It's a weird, weird pressing. My fr I got this in a trade from my friend uh, Axe from the Abyss here on YouTube. Um, and uh, this is his copy. He bought it on Amazon and it was a library version. So it was in like a N Nintendo DS game case almost. And uh, it doesn't have the original back, but I, it's whatever. I'm mostly doing it for the CDs anyway and I'll just print off a better back. This one blows and I need to put a new case on here, but you know how expensive, uh, or not really expensive, but a pain in the ass that is to find ones for double discs. So yeah, come to the DVD and the regular one. Sort of Rising is killer melodic death metal from Sweden. Don't need to don't need to explain a monomarth to anybody, I'm pretty sure. So that's a a monomarth with Surter rising. This next one is a a brutal death metal band from Italy. This is Corpse Fucking Art. This is a ridiculous band. I love this stuff. It's so stupid, it's great. It's just look at the artwork, okay? That is a toothbrush shooting a bar of soap with kind of like a mad butcher kind of guy reading a paper that says corpse news and he's like looking at them angrily for shooting each other in the back <laughs> this is great this is so awesome oh this band is great um but yeah it's just it's really stupid stuff this but it's fun and it actually sounds serious but i don't and i'm i hope they take it seriously because that'll make it that much better um this is uh, this stuff like Scooby Doom, and this is uh, this the album War of the Toilet Gear. So, yeah, um, Winnie the Pooh, stuff like that. Once Upon the Motorcross, just uh, the shower must go on, stuff like that. It's just it's great. Just check this out if you like brutal death metal. Uh, not slam, but has a couple chuggy chuggy parts like a slam, but it's not a slam, I don't know, it's kind of a slam, but it's not a slam, there, so check this out, if you're a brutal death metal fan, next one is, uh, the earliest kind of deathcore, I think, this is, a uh, the Somatic Defilement by Whitechapel, I just picked this up with FYE, and the, the jewel case is cracked right there, and it's brand new, so I got it for $2.50, couldn't believe it, so I picked it up, uh, really dig it. Super heavy. This is by far the heaviest Whitechapel album. Um, this might be my favorite. This one or the the second are Endless War, that one. Between those two. Or This Is Exile is probably a second. Those two are tied for first. 
but yeah, this is the super heavy stuff. This is, uh, I would check out the intro track, Necrotizing, and then, uh, Prosthetic Fluid Asphyxiation. Really, really good. Just, uh, heavy deathcore. Not too core, but, uh, groovy. More groovy than core. So, uh, if you're not that big in deathcore, but you like, like, old school death metal, this is very suffocation-esque, I would say. Uh, I know it's a huge influence on Phil Bozeman, so I think that's, this is their testimony to suffocation. Uh, now that we're done mostly with death metal, uh, this is a ambient atmospheric black metal band from Portland, Oregon, I think, or Washington, one of the, that, that general area, but this is a Genevieve by Velvet Cocoon. Velvet Cocoon is a phenomenal band. Um, I'm new to Velvet Cocoon, obviously. Uh, this is the first you've heard of them on this channel from me, obviously. But this is just uh, all around great stuff, honestly. I gotta say, it's, this is like um, ambient in the fact where it makes you tired, but it's like this is like the soundtrack to a nightmare. This is just great. It's like Stryborg, except less dark. It's just that scary sound, but it's not nearly as dark sounding. It's just, it's, it's kind of something you gotta experience. Uh, I, this is pretty representation, pretty good at representing the sound. Not the, not the reflection of the, my phone, but like, the album cover. This is just super good. I love it. Um, yeah, I would definitely check out Velvet Cocoon. Cool disc. I, I keep forgetting to show discs, so, sorry. But, uh, yeah, this is Velvet Cocoon with Genevieve. Next one is some slam, brutal death metal, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I traded again with um, X from the Abyss. This is uh, Symphony of Slit Throats by Syphilic. This is a brutal, brutal album cover, and it's hilarious. Just this is slam, it's brutal death metal. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's you know cheesy mortician-esque pictures, movie samples. The intro starts off with Beavis and Butthead. Okay, do I really need to explain how great this is gonna be? With songs like Riverbank Skank and The Nurture, and it's just, it's great. Uh, body Herpes, like, uh, the intro is some guy in a movie calling his herpes love blisters, which is hilarious. But yeah, this is, it's just, it's great. More brutal death metal. Uh, this is faster, rather than groovier, in the, the slamming world, I guess. I'm not that big of a slammer at all, but yeah, I could dig it. It's awesome. It's fun. And, uh... That's Syphilic with Symphony of Slit Throats. Got three more CDs for you. This next one is uh, ridiculous that I found this because I look on Amazon and the first press is like $380. And I don't know if it's a first press or not. I haven't checked the, the numbers. I'm pretty sure it's not. It could be, but I don't know. But either way, all the pressings are at least like $25. Bucks, and I got it for 10 So this is Quintessence by Somber Forts. This is great ambient atmospheric black metal from Canada, the uh, the Quebec scene that everybody has a huge rager for right now. You know, the, the Fortress, Number Four, it's uh, Gris, Grimoire. Some uh, there's a couple other bands that I they're slipping my mind because I'm too excited about these guys or this guy. This is just awesome stuff. Um, this is very desolate, very sorrowful, uh, slightly melancholic, but not intentionally. I think as far as uh, lyrics, I don't think. They're supposed to be depressive, but uh, I'm pretty. It's all in French, so I can't tell for sure, and I'm too lazy to go translate it. But yeah, this is Quintessence, but Summer Four. It's got a super, super cool album cover. Uh, just kind of like a little painting of like a, a winter path through some trees. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna check this out to see if it's a first press. Because if it is, I'm not selling it. Sorry, because I want it. <laughs> I just I really love Summer Four. Uh, I'm new to them, so uh, this made me fall in love. Yeah, another one that's ridiculous for the first pressing CD. It's 180 on Amazon. Um, this is Rayune de Glace by Somber Forts. Their, I believe, it's the second release, second C uh, full length, I think. Um, I don't remember. I'm not ridiculously aware of their discography, uh, but this is really good. This is super heavy. Not heavy, like, like, atmospheric. It comes down on you heavy, you know? It's like, the sound 
creates this whole atmosphere of, like, right after a snowstorm, like, not in a snowstorm, but the solitude of, uh, the fresh snow on the ground just kind of being there. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. This is great stuff. This is, when I think of atmosphere of black mold, most of the time I think of fall, but this is not that kind of atmosphere of black mold. This is cold, as stupid as that sounds, but it's like, it's somber right there. It's dark. It's very, very melancholic. Again, I don't know if it's supposed to be depressive. That's weird. Just skip. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is summer forts. You gotta, you gotta check this out, guys, if you don't know this. And my last thing, which is kind of a grail item. Those past two were also, but this one's super cool. I got this for free as, like, a trade-in. I gave them some CDs out of here that I didn't want at the record shop, and I picked this up, which is super cool to have. This is great old-school death metal and kind of black metal. Yeah, definitely some black metal in here. This is Frostline Tapes by Dark Throne. This is a three-disc set with the Land of Frost demo, a New Dimension demo, Falkandra, Kremlock, and Live from Denmark, and then the instrumental version of Goat Lord recorded, and I'm pretty sure the Blaze in the Northern Sky sessions. Uh, yeah, this is super cool. It's a whole digi book, which is like a Dark Throne thing nowadays. It's like a staple. Then there's a uh, this disc in here. They all look like that, so I don't need to yank it out of there and worry about breaking the packaging. But yeah, this is a uh, really cool to own. Uh, hearing live Dark Throne is really cool because I know there's a couple of live videos of Nectar Culto playing, like Under Funeral Moon and the Hordes of Nebula and stuff. Uh, with Satyricon and Vakken in like 2004 or something, but it's really cool to hear an original recording, Fenris drumming, they play death metal, so very, very cool to have. So uh, yeah, before this thing runs out of juice, I'm, uh, I'm going to sign out here, but yeah, you guys...